data analytics, Power BI visuals, and chart types. Introduction. According to DOMO, over 2.5 quintillion bytes of data are generated every single day, and 90% of the data in this world has been created in the last two years. It is a tough task to manage this huge amount of data and make sense of all of it. So, the majority of our organizations are using business intelligence visualization tools to derive value from data. Among these, Power BI is one of the best visualization tools to handle the data in distinct patterns and make observations. Data proliferation can be managed as part of the data science process, which includes data visualization. Using different Power BI visuals or chart types in 2022, you can manage a vast amount of data quickly and effectively. What is data visualization? Data visualization is a process of taking raw data and transforming it into graphical or pictorial representations such as charts, graphs, diagrams, pictures, and videos which explain the data and allow you to gain insights from it. So users can quickly analyze the data and prepare reports to make business decisions effectively. Importance of Data Visualization we are inherently in the visual world where pictures or images speak more than words. So it is easy to visualize a large amount of data using graphs and charts than depending on reports or spreadsheets. Data visualization is a quick and easy way to convey concepts to the end users. And you can do experiments with different scenarios by making slight changes. It can also clarify which element influences customer behavior identifies the area to which you need to pay attention, guides you to understand which product should be placed in which location, predicts the sales volume. So these are some of the things it can do. The better you visualize your points, the better you can leverage the information to the end users. You might have confusion regarding selecting the correct data visualization for the data sets you have. The right data visualization helps you to boost the impact of your data. Business intelligence platforms like Power BI help in dealing with the different visualizations of data sets in a secure manner. Area Charts The area chart depends on line charts to display quantitative graphical data. The area between the axis and the lines is commonly filled with colors, textures, and patterns. We can compare more than two quantities with area charts. It shows the trend changes over time and can be used to attract the attention of the users to know the total changes across the trends. For example, the below air chart clearly shows you how the usage of the blue Power BI and Looker varies over the past six years. Line charts. Line charts are mostly used charts to represent the data and are characterized by a series of data points connected by a straight line. Each point in the line corresponds to a data value in the given category. It shows the exact value of the plotted data. Line charts should only be used to measure the trends over a period of time, example dates, months, and years. So usually what we have here in our x-axis are date month or year for instance below line chart shows the popularity of the microsoft power bi keyword in google search across the world it clearly it's it's clear indicating that the popularity of power bi has been increasing gradually since its inception bar charts in the list of power bi visualization types next we are going to discuss bar charts Bar charts are mostly used graphs because they are simple to create and easy to understand. Bar charts are also called horizontal charts that represents the absolute data. They are useful to display the data that include negative values because it is possible to position the bars above and below the axis. For instance, 
we have shown you the Power BI developer salary trends based on newbo.com in different countries using the bar chart. So the above image shows the comparison bar of Power BI developer salary trends in five different countries, UK, India, Canada, Australia, and USA. So the highest salary is in the USA, followed by that of India. Column charts. Column charts are similar to bar charts, and the only difference between these two is column chart that divides the same category data in the, uh, into the clusters and compares within the clusters. Also, it compares the data from other clusters. For instance, let us consider one example in which we compared the BR market share with the past years. If you have observed the below column chart, it is clear that BI market share has been increasing gradually. So this is the market share. Combo charts. A combo chart is a combination of both the column charts and line charts that help you to make a quicker comparison of data. The combo chart shows the relationship between two measures in a single visualization. It also helps to compare multiple measures with different values. <clears throat> For instance, in the above combo chart, you can see the comparison between last year's and current year's sales of a product and also the current year's gross margin. <clears throat> so the blue over here represents the sales for this year and the red one represents the sales last year. And then the pink one represents the gross margin this year. So with the help of this combo chart, an organization can quickly analyze the data about the product to make business decisions quickly. Pie charts. A pie chart is a uh, circular statistical chart and it shows the whole data in parts. Each portion of a pie chart represents the percentages and the sum of all parts should be equal to 100%. The whole data can be divided into slices to show the numerical propositions of each part of the data. Pie charts are mostly used to represent the same category of data. It helps users to understand the data quickly. They are widely used in education and the business world and communication media. For instance, in the below pie chart, it is clear that which programming language is on the top list in 2019. Donut chart. Donuts are similar to pie charts and it is named donut chart because it looks similar to a donut. You can easily understand the data because donut charts show the whole data into the proposition. It is the most useful chart when you need to display various propositions that makes up the final value. For instance, let's consider an example top BI tools market share across the globe. Gauge charts. A gauge chart is also known as a speedometer or dial chart. It uses the needle to read the data and it shows the information on a dial. The gauge chart, it represents the value for each needle at, as it reads the data according to the axis or colored data. These charts are useful to compare the values between the variables either by using multiple needles on the same gauge or different gauges. For instance, the above gauge chart shows you the average gross sales of the company. Funnel chart. The funnel chart is a type of chart which is used to visualize the data that flows from one phase to another, another phase. In the funnel chart, the whole data is considered as 100% and in each space, it is represented as numerical propositions of the data. For instance, the funnel chart shows that the flow of each space. In the below image, you can see the total leads per day, 272. So the quality leads are 89, solution leads 72, proposal leads are 
36 and the finalized lead are 12. Scatter charts. Scatter charts are used to visualize the data using the dots that represent the values obtained from two different variables, such as the x-axis and the y-axis. These charts are used to show the relationship between two different variables. It is also called a correlation plot because it shows how two variables are correlated to each other. Till now, we discussed the top 10 Power BI visualization types. Now, we're going to discuss remaining visualization types with detailed information. So, we have the bubble charts. Bubble charts show the data in the form of a circle. The values of the variables are represented by the x-axis and the y-axis. The size of the circle represents the measure of the variables. In other words, the bigger, the higher the value or the measure. So in the below bubble chart, you can observe that on the x-axis, the community is measured and the quality is measured on the y-axis. So each bubble chart represents the size of the community. A waterfall chart is used to show how initial values are increasing and decreasing gradually by a series of values to arrive at the final value. For instance, let us consider an example in which you can plot your company's annual profit in different countries. And you can add different sources of income and losses to know the net profit of your company. Regional maps. Maps are divided into three types and they are listed below. We have regional maps, point maps and flow maps. So this is an example of a regional map. So regional maps use different colors to represent the distribution of a specific range of values on the map. Point maps. A point map is used to represent the geographical distribution of data by plotting the same size points on the ge uh, geographical background. It helps the user to grasp the overall distribution of data, but it is a tough task if you want to observe specific data. So usually this is the overall distribution, while in the previous one, it's more on uh, represent distribution of a specific range of values. Flow maps. A flow map is a type of map that is particularly designed to show specific themes connected with a particular geographical area. It is used in cartography to show the movements of the objects between two or more areas. So here you can see the movements. That means that this one, there's more movement for this one and this part. Slicer charts. Slicer charts are visual filters. Using slicers, you can filter or sort your data by clicking on the type of data you want. In the below example, you can see all regions, all region sales. In case you want to see particular region sales, then you click on that region and show its specific region sales. I'm sorry, I think this is the wrong image. So, but we have this slicer chart, okay? Then we have the three maps. Three maps display hierarchical data set in a nested rectangle. At each level, hierarchy is represented by a color. The size of the space in the rectangle depends on the data values and the rectangular boxes are arranged in size from left to bottom right. For instance, example of you are analyzing your sales. You have the top level branches Rural mix, your youth and urban power BI three maps split your categories into rectangle boxes. So leaves these boxes should be shaped and sized based on the number of sold. But I don't think this is the three map. Matrix chart. So this one I think this is the correct one. So sorry for this, but this was copied from a web page and I think 
there's some sort of an error in the web page. Okay, so matrix chart. A matrix chart shows the relationship uh, the relation matter between two or more variables in a data set. It is mainly made up of columns and rows to represent the data in the grid format. At least two variables are required to create a matrix chart if there is any third or fourth variable and color or other dimension that can be added to the matrix to represent the data. For instance, the below matrix chart represents the company's revenue in different years with other factors. We have the years and these are the revenue. Maybe these are the other factors. So one, two, three, and four. Tables. A table is a grid that contains the related data in a series of rows and columns. Tables are useful if you are comparing the same category for many values. For instance, in the below example, you can see the same category having multiple measures to compare. So it's last year, this year, so we're com we can compare. And how to create a Power BI visualization? Power BI consists of various inbuilt data visualization components such as pie charts, maps, and bar charts. And it contains complex models including panel, gauge charts, waterfall, and many other components. The below image shows the default visualization icon. So these are the default visualization icons. You can create the Power BI visualizations in two ways. In the first method, you can easily drag and drop the fields. So these are the fields from the right sidebar to the axis. So fields drag to the axis. According to your business requirements, you can add multiple fields to the axis so these are the axis so again if we have here the fields fields you can just drag and drop them to the axis in the second method you should add a field from the right side panel to the report canvas so you can just drag and drop to the report canvas in power bi the date table visualization type is a default visualization and it is possible to move the visualization on the reporting canvas by dragging and clicking on it. So we can drag this one, we can move this one. You can also change the different visualization from the visualization pane. So we can click here to change this visualization. What is Power BI Desktop Visualization? Power BI Desktop is a free application you can download on your computer and that allows you to connect, transform, and visualize the data. Power BI Desktop allows you to communicate with multiple sources of data and combines them to create relationship between the data to enhance the data model. End user can build visuals such as charts, graphs, and even videos, and they can share these data visuals with others in the organization to create reports and dashboards using the data model. So that ends uh, this lecture, so thank you very much for viewing.